Welcome to 21st Sports. Week 2 is underway and we're talking the Jacksonville Jaguars at the San Diego Chargers in their Week 2 matchup played September 18, 2016. And what a blowout. What a dominant performance by the Chargers and Phillip Rivers specifically. But the Chargers, 35 unanswered points before the Jaguars finally got on the board in the fourth. And it, it was just a blowout. And this is the game. This is why, uh, you know, this is why the Jaguars have that reputation. Is the Chargers made them look like the Jaguars. Most people think they are, even though I think the Jaguars actually have talent. But it, you didn't see much of it on display in this game. As it was all San Diego. Melvin Gordon having a big game. He started off the scoring with a three-yard touchdown run. That was the only score in the first quarter, 7 to nothing Chargers. Then in the second, another pair of touchdowns. This time, Phillip Rivers threw to Travis Benjamin for a 6-yard touchdown and then to Antonio Gates for a 2-yard touchdown, and it was 21 to nothing at the half. Then in the third, another pair of touchdowns by Phillip Rivers, giving him 4 on the day. First, Tyrell Williams, a 44-yard touchdown pass from Rivers, and then Travis Benjamin, his second touchdown reception of the game, a 45-yard pass from Rivers, which was his fourth touchdown throw of the game, and it was 35 to nothing. Put the kids to bed, but now it's the fourth quarter, and the Jags in the fourth went down by 35. No one scores like the Jags. And Blake Bortles hit Mercedes Lewis for a four-yard touchdown, and the Jags were on the board. Josh Lambeau added a field goal for San Diego just to let the Jags know, don't try to come back. We will score again if we have to. And so it was 38-7, to and in the closing minute of the game, Blake Bortles, well, with just over a minute left, Bortles hits Corey Grant for a 15-yard touchdown, and the final score was 38-14. to is the Chargers just dominated this one. Phillip Rivers, 17 for 24, just 220 yards is all it took to get those four touchdowns. He actually would end up sitting down and Clemens would come into the game. But Melvin Gordon, his first 100-yard rushing game, 24 carries, 102 yards, and a touchdown for Gordon. He also had 18 yards off of three catches, which gave him 120 total yards on the day. Travis Benjamin, six catches for 115 yards, two touchdowns. Williams had three catches for 61 yards and a touchdown. And Gates, three catches, 15 yards and a touchdown. Blake Bortles was 31 for 50, 329 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. He was also the leading rusher for the Jaguars with three, ru three rushes for 34 yards. TJ Yeldon, seven carries for just 28 yards. And then the receivers, the leading receiver for the Jags, Marquise Lee, five receptions, 75 yards. Julius Thomas, four catches for 71 yards. Hearns also had five catches for 64 yards. And Robinson had three catches for 54 yards. And, of course, Lewis and Grant each having touchdowns. Lewis with two catches, 17 yards. And Grant, the 15-yard touchdown, was his only reception of the game. Look at the defense. Hayward had two interceptions. For the Chargers, Ingram with two sacks. And for the Jags, Fowler had two sacks. And Nku had a sack and a forced fumble. I'm sure I'm butchering that name, and I apologize. But 25 first downs for the Chargers, 20 for the Jags. On third down, though, 7 for 13, 53% conversion rate for San Diego. And the defense of the Chargers shutting down the Jags on third down, just 2 for 11, just 18% is the Chargers' defense was not letting the Jaguars move those chains. Not on third down, but the Jags did go for it twice on fourth, uh, and they were 50%, one for two. And the Jags actually had more total yards, 388 versus 357. Jacksonville also averaged more rushing yards per play with 6.3 versus 4.3, but yet the Chargers had more net rushing yards at 150 to 69. If you look at the uh, penalties in this game, that really killed the Jags as they were playing very sloppy and undisciplined. 14 penalties for 93 yards. You're not going to win with that kind of number, especially when the Chargers were playing mistake-free nearly with just three penalties, 23 yards. 
both teams had a fumble, which they lost. And then the red zone, two for three for Jacksonville, 66%, three for five for the Chargers, 60%. And the time of possession, San Diego, 34 minutes, 52 seconds to 25 minutes, eight seconds for Jacksonville. So the Chargers just ran away with this one, a very dominant performance, probably the most dominant performance of the week and maybe of this season, to tell you the truth. But let me know what you think in the comments section below. Definitely interested to read your thoughts and opinions, which plays and performances stuck out to you. Thank you very much for listening. It is greatly appreciated. I hope you're having a good day and had a great week. And enjoy all the sports.